This is what I call as my ultimate comfort food. Nothing else can make me more happy than hot steamed rice and a bowl of dal. Hi everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bombi. And today I will show you three recipes using red lentil dal or masoor dal as we call in India. So let's get started. Let's cook the dal first. There are I think countless variations for making dal depending on the region, availability of ingredients and of course family traditions. But amongst all there are two components that are always followed in making it. One is cooking the lentil till they are tender and two is tempering it with your choice of spices. I always cook dal in a pressure cooker. I have grown up watching my parents always cooking dal in a pressure cooker. Today I will for a change cook dal in a pot for demonstration purpose. But from henceforth if you see me making any dal recipes then you have to probably refer back to this video for the initial steps as it takes a lot of time to cook dal in this way. Once the water comes up to a boil, add grated ginger. Then some turmeric powder or haldi. I even like adding some chopped green chilies but it is totally optional. Keep it uncovered and let it again come up to a boil. In the beginning you will see this white scum floating on top. I like to skim that off. Then simmer the heat of your stove to low and cover the pan partially. From time to time uncover and give a stir and always remember to cover partially or else you will have a dull swimming pool all over your stove top. I have also given the details of how to cook it using a pressure cooker in the description box in case you are wondering how to do that. The lentils are almost tender now so I added salt. Finally I like to use this wooden thing to mash up the lentils. I don't know how to call it in English but it is called as dal ghutuni in Bengali I think. You can just use a whisk for doing this. It is not a big deal at all. Ok my base dal is done. So now coming to the three types. Take a deep bottom pot or pan and add some oil. Once the oil turns hot add cumin seeds or jeera. You have to let the seeds crackle to release their flavor and remember to do this on low heat or else the seeds will burn and we are not making burnt cumin dal today. I even added a dry red chili. Now I will be adding some spoonfuls of the cooked dal. You can add little water if you think it is too thick. If you want to have it with bread or roti then keep a thick consistency. Or if you are like me who always dreams of rice then keep it a little on the thinner side. Let it boil for about 2 minutes. Then I like adding my favorite coriander leaves. And your jeera dal is done. Coming to the second one and one of my favorites that is garlic dal. Pot on medium heat and then ghee. And some of you know how my voice automatically sounds different when it comes to ghee or butter. You can even use butter or oil. I leave that up to you. Then comes the star of the show chopped garlic. Add the garlic when the oil is just little warm. You want the garlic to get toasted gradually as the oil gets heated up. In that way your oil will get infused with that garlic flavor. Fry them on low to medium heat till they turn brown. I like adding dry red chili but it is totally optional. 
Now add the dal and let it boil for 2 minutes. You can add water if you want a thinner consistency. Finally, again my favorite herb adds up to that freshness. Always do a taste test and add salt if needed as we added salt earlier while cooking the lentils. And our garlic dal is done. Now coming to the third one that is tomato dal. Add oil to a pot kept on medium heat. Once the oil turns hot, lower the heat and add some cumin seeds. As always, let the seeds splutter. Then in goes the chopped onions. Fry them on medium heat. Add a pinch of salt to soften them up quickly. Once the onions turn pale in color, add a little bit of red chili powder or you can even use cayenne pepper or paprika. Then add the chopped tomatoes. Now cover it on medium heat for 2 minutes and let the tomatoes turn soft. The tomatoes have turned soft and pulpy. Next comes brown sugar. You can even add jaggery or white sugar will also work. Now in goes the dal with all its glory. And of course my usual habit of rinsing that last bit of bowl goodness, here I would say pot goodness, comes into the scene. Again do a taste test. I felt it needed a little bit of salt. Let it boil for 2 minutes and then pour into a bowl. But hold on, we are not done yet, so please don't leave yet. Take a clean pan, add some oil. Once the oil turns hot, lower the heat to the lowest possible mark. Then add mustard seeds. Let the seeds splutter. Then add little bit of red chilli powder and coriander leaves. Pour it over the dal. You can even add curry powder instead of chilli powder. The choice is all yours. If you are interested in more dal recipes, then click on the video coming up on the screen. This is Bumbi and thanks for joining me. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.